Welcome to this video of chess being banned throughout the world. Nobody was excluded. Throughout its 1500 years, chess has been banned from kings to religions throughout countries and regions. My references used for this extensive video can be found in the description under two articles. Number two is A History of Chess by H.J.R. Murray, a full book of history, 1910 that was published. And I used The Birth of the Chess Queen by Marilyn Yalom. Also, really good summary of chess history if you guys want more. Let's get to the countdown of the times chess was banned in a region or country. Before that, here's a quick summary of the history of chess. Chess was invented in India between the 5th and 6th century AD. It then spread to Persia, which is modern day Iran, who got it through trade, and then chess spread from Persia very importantly to the Muslim world. This is through war and also trade. The Muslim world is credited to spreading chess so much throughout the Western Hemisphere. So through the Arabian Peninsula, chess went down and over to North Africa, and from North Africa it crossed from East to West North Africa, up into the south of Spain, and then went into Europe. I'm telling you this because it's going to be important to know for this video. The first time chess was disapproved of was in 650 AD, roughly 50 or 100 years after its invention, by the son-in-law of Muhammad, the founder of Islam. His son-in-law is credited to have founded the Shia branch of Islam. And so this caliph, Ali ibn Abi Talib, said a lot of chess did not have matching values with the Islam religion. Notably, chess had graven images, which is carved figures, which are prohibited in Islam. You cannot replicate a face of an animal of a, or of a person onto something. That's why in these mosques, you'll never see faces. And so Caliph Ali was against the graven images on chess pieces. The king had graven images, the horses, which are the knights, and the elephants, which are today's bishops, they all had graven images, a big no-no. This is why the oldest chess sets ever found look like this. Secondly, chess was connected to gambling under two fronts. Chess could be used for gambling at stakes on games. So let's say you had a stake on a game, bet $150, that was considered gambling, and of chance. So chess could be played with dice in several variations that were popularized in which you would roll a die and whatever that dice would say, what you would roll on, let's say you had a one, you would have to move a pawn. If you had a two, you had to move a knight. If you had a three, you had to move a bishop. If you had a four, you had to move a rook. If you had a five, you had to move a queen. If you had a six, you had to move a king. And so chess was played like that and because that was a game of chance, that was disapproved of because graven images and gambling in Islam is linked to Satan practices. So it's a big no-no. And so chess was on edge for many centuries there. And the second there was a strict caliph, chess would be banned outright, done. Under the five actionable laws of Islam, necessary action being pretty good, recommended action being a good action as well, permitted action allowed, disliked action disproved of but not illegal, and finally illegal action forbidden action, which is haram. Chess was in the disliked action, so you could play it, but it wasn't really liked. It's still legal. However, in 780 AD, it could have been haram. Al-Mahdi, a caliph, forbade chess to inhabitants of Medina, which is today the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. He even went to the length to write a letter to religious leaders in Mecca asking them to give up chess and gambling. This is ironic because he himself kept a chess master at his court. The third time chess was banned, it's also a strict caliph. In 1005 AD, in Egypt this time, a strict caliph, Al-Hakim bi Amr Allah, banned chess outright. Not only did he ban chess, he ordered that all chess sets and chess pieces should be burned throughout the country. Chess players were beaten for playing chess. And this is also a little bit ironic because he did not destroy his own chess sets. <laughs> and now we move over to Europe. The fourth time chess was banned was within the Italian clergy. This happened in the 11th century. But if we move back to the 7th century, let's go back to the canon law established by the Catholic Church, which forbid 
games of chance, such as chess, to be played within the clergy. So when chess was spreading through Europe in the 1000s, an angry, distraught Bishop Damiani, the cardinal bishops at the time, held a lot of power. He wrote a letter directly to Alexander the Pope II, basically snitching on his companion, the Bishop of Florence, for playing chess in public, which was against canon law. In brief, chess was just banned throughout all clergies in Italy, though this did not slow the growth of chess throughout Italy at all. In fact, during these times, chess established itself further into Italy. <laughs> it's hard to say that bar without laughing. The fifth time chess was banned was in Poland when Casimir II banned chess in Poland in the late 12th century. That's all the information I have on that. Very hard to find that information. The sixth time chess was banned was in 1254, the 13th century. King Louis IX, after returning from a crusade, banned chess under a fine. Why? This guy had beef with the game. He hated all games and especially chess. He said it was useless and just boring. <laughs> so he banned it. The seventh time chess was banned was in Germany in 1329. Their church council, Synod of Würzburg, passed a written law within the clergy forbidding chess. In fact, I have the law here in Latin. I'm going to try to pronounce it. Ludus alearum carturam chacorum, which is chess, taxilorum annulorum e globulorum monachis e moniabilibus proibemus destructe, which means we strictly forbid the games of gambling, chess, catura, dice, rings, and globes for monks and monastics. The eighth and nine times chess was banned, it's a pair! France two times! Adding to the tally, they're on the score sheet. Two consecutive King Charles, so King Charles V and King Charles VI, each banned chess. This is the first time that chess was banned twice consecutively by two kings, and it was banned from 1364 to 1422, which is a total of 58 years. Crazy! Again in the 14th century, King John I of Aragon banned chess in northeastern Spain. I also have that quote from Catalan, item que tot homme qui juche anagun josh de daus ni de scash, that's chess, en cause de mangar ni en altes causes de dias exceptal josh de toles que pac ex solcom, which means item that everyone who plays a game of dice or chess in things to eat or other things of the day except a game of tables that pays only as. So in other words, if you use the, the game of chess to gamble and to eat for your next meal, uh, you're, you, you could not do it. That was, that was illegal. The 11th time chess was banned was in Russia in the 16th century. In 1551, Tsar Ivan IV, i.e. Ivan the Terrible, banned the game outright. And this one is also hypocritical. Because not only did he play chess himself, he died whilst playing chess and he banned it. Why? The 12th time chess was banned was in China. We're moving to Asia now. Let's go. China bans chess in 1966 as part of the Cultural Revolution. The Cultural Revolution in China was a socio-political movement aimed at purging China of all capitalist elements of society and promoting Maoism. Young people were taught to rebel the system, rebel their teachers, rebel their institutions, their parents, etc. In 1966, chess was banned in China until 1974. So that's a big, big eight years. And in 1974, the easing of the ban was, was in. And then in 1976, it was officially lifted. Now we're getting close to modern day. The 13th time chess was banned was in Iran. In Iran, after the 1979 Islamic Revolution destined to overthrow the Persian royal dynasty, chess was banned in public on account of encouraging gambling and encouraging aggression towards others. And the third was caused Muslims to forgo their prayers. So it would distract people from doing their five prayers a day. And so players played much privately and underground. In 1988, Khomeini lifted the ban one year before his death and allowed chess players to play the game again under the conditions that it did not interfere with daily prayers. And finally, the 14th country to have banned chess outright is 
Afghanistan in 1996. The Taliban and leader Mullah Muhammad Omar banned chess outright in 1996. They banned it for similar reasons as Iran. First of all, it encouraged gambling, that's number one. And number two, it distracted people from making their daily prayers. Although the Taliban was overthrown in 2001 and chess was free to be played again, there's fears that Although the Taliban took over in 2021, that ban may be reinstilled. And so that is the list of the 14 countries and regions who have banned chess. Uh, there could have been much more, but there were smaller instances in like cities or things like that, in which Catholic priests or things like that banned chess. I could have involved them in this video. It would have been a 40 minute video. I didn't want to do that. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. That's all I hope. Uh, have, an, have an amazing day. Thank you.